wasn't the best of starts for Sharjah Warriors today, but one man had a lot of fun out there, and that's Chris Wokes. 23 for two wickets and 62 of 29 balls. Easily the man of the match for Sharjah Warriors. Chris Wokes, you must have enjoyed today's uh, night out. Yeah, I mean, personally, it, it went reasonably well. Um, it always would be a bit sweeter if, obviously, we, we, we'd won the game. Um, it's never nice to lose, lose the first game. But again, having said that, it is the first match and we can move to tomorrow, hopefully put this behind us and move forward and hopefully get our first win. I guess that's also the best way to sort of kick up some storm in the team within yourselves and hoping to do well tomorrow against the Desert Vipers. Some sort of motivation. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's good that it happens quite fast. Sometimes it's easy to dwell on results like this, but T20 cricket can happen like this. Sometimes it can look a bit ugly yeah. um, and that's just the way it goes. Um, but equally, it could, you know, can be flipped reversed tomorrow and we can be on top. So we need to move to tomorrow, new venue, new conditions. Hopefully we can start well and get on top of the game early. Yeah, and uh, talking about your bowling, 23 out of um, four overs, two wickets. I mean, you must have enjoyed bowling there and on that pitch. Yeah, I did. I thought the new ball just offered a little bit, um, kind of suited my type of bowling. I tried to hold a good length. Um, and obviously, when you pick up a couple of wickets in the power play, it certainly helps stem the, the flow of the runs. Um, and yeah, I felt like I, I managed to control that quite nicely. Um, but you know, they had some good players that played some incredible knocks tonight and yeah. they got away from us, unfortunately. Yeah, and when he came out to bat at number 8, 62 of 29 balls, you came out batting with some vengeance. Yeah, I don't know, I just kind of, to be honest, I just wanted to build a partnership with whoever I was batting out there with at the time um, and try and get us anywhere closer to, to their total. By that point, it kind of it looked like the game was gone in terms of winning it, so it was a matter of trying to get as close to their score as possible. You never know, later in the tournament that might help us with net run rates, um, with qualifying and things like that, so yeah. you know, the game's never dead. You try and, try and get as close to their, their score and that's what we tried to do. Yeah, I hope that you uh, carry this form in tomorrow's match against the Desert Vipers. Thank you. Chris Wokes, thank you for talking to us. And let's wish him all the best for match against Desert Vipers. That's our second match and be there and support us.